question. So right now we're really focused on uh, authors that already have uh, either published work or near published work. Um, you know, and most of those authors uh, have already worked with e editors. Um, so, um, and we're also looking for publications that lend themselves, you know, a lot more to uh, interaction. And ideally, we're looking for um, content that already is illustrated, and not only illustrated, but the illustrations are in layers. Um, because if it's a flat illustration, we need to then break it up into layers, and that's pretty... Photoshop uh, layers. Exactly, and, th and that's pretty work-intensive. So, but our bandwidth is very small. You know, we're a very small company, and we intend to stay a small company. Um, what we're going to leverage is the community out there, and that's why we're releasing the Interact Builder as a free product, um, because that will allow a lot of other people, and especially illustrators who already know how to use tools like Photoshop and other graphic tools, you know, they'll be able to take our tool and turn publications that they're working on into interactive publications very easily without learning Xcode, without signing up to Apple as an Apple developer. Um, they'll be able to create work that can then be published right on our platform. Is it kind of a WYSIWYG sort of process with, with bringing yeah, in Photoshop elements and just... It, it's almost, it's, almost. It, it is very much, it, well, not almost, it is a WYSIWYG process. So, you know, I, I see a, rep a representation of the iPad or iPhone, depending on what the book is. If it's an iPhone book, I would see a picture of an iPhone. And as I build, as I bring in the elements, it actually shows the elements on the page. So the first thing you do when you define the page is you say, here's my background. Well, the minute you say, here's the background, it shows it right on the screen. So it's, it's very much a WYSIWYG tool for building interactive books. Fantastic. There's, there's not anything quite like this on the market now, right? As far as we know. I really hate saying it, the, saying the, there's not yeah, because, the yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's, a good, it's still mm. a good question. Um, here, what, do you want to ask it again? And we'll, uh, uh, yeah, let's see how, to, see how to ask it the right way. You, you can ask it. That, you can ask it that way. I'll answer it. Are, are, I have no is such technology question. available to content producers, independent individual content producers now? So, I, from the research that I've done, and I haven't done exhaustive research, but yeah. I'm not aware of any tool like this specifically geared for interactive books. Okay. Um, so I think we're pretty unique right now. There's a lot of interactive books available in the App Store. A lot of good interactive books available on the App Store, but they've been developed as individual apps. Um, each one is a separate app. Um, there's also some apps that offer several books, but each time they have a new book, you're literally updating the app itself. So I think we stand pretty unique, and what makes us even more unique is the Interact Builder tool. So that's where we really separate ourselves from anyone out there because, again, to my knowledge, there's nothing specifically. There's gaming engines you know, out there available to people. Um, but there's nothing like what we've created with the Interact Builder because that will allow us to, or allow anyone to create a book, an interactive book, just in a WYSIWYG format and easily uh, publish a book on this platform. You, you've licensed some authors this weekend in Austin, as it turns out. What will be the process be then in terms of the stages? What will they be required to do from here on? What will you be, what you, will you be expecting from them? And this will be in turn for uh, a royalty arrangement Oh. Right, so there's no cost uh, uh, up front for an author to publish with us. And what we ask from them um, is a couple of things. Of course, we need uh, what I call their assets. And those assets are the actual text of, their, uh, of the book, um, as well as the uh, graphic assets. And we, we hope that their illustrations are, uh, were done in Photoshop and that they're actually separated in layers. So for example, Photoshop we, files. Yeah, that's what we'd like. So for example, if there's a uh, character in, in a story, ideally that character you hope is in a separate layer so that we can actually build interactions uh, with that character. Uh, but we signed up an author um, uh, this weekend whose uh, illustrations are flat. And what we're doing, we're using our illustrators uh, to take those flat illustrations and turn them into multiple layers. Um, and we'll do that for certain authors. I mean, we're, we don't have a lot of bandwidth, but there's certain publications that we would like to host on our platform that we're excited about, and we definitely will do the work. So we're putting all of that work in. And then, so, so those are the physical things that we look for from the authors. Mm -hmm. What I also, uh, typically a children's books author especially, is a very creative person. Right. So ideally, we want their input. We want them to tell us what each page, what the interaction should be. And depending on the book, 
you know, and it, the counting in the tub book is very interactive because there's not many words to the book. So it, it, you can do a lot of different things. It's geared for little kids who aren't even at a reading level at, at that point. But if you have more of a chapter book, uh-huh. you know, you can make those interactions v- very subtle because you don't necessarily want to take away from the book. So you don't have to have some elaborate interactions um, in, in every book to make it an interactive book. All of the interactions can be very subtle, you know, very little interactions. Oh, but what we also try to do is make sure that the interactions flow with the book. So there's a lot of interactive books out there right now where they put interactions for the sake of putting an interaction. And, and the interaction doesn't have anything to do with the story. Right. Um, and to us, that doesn't make sense. To me, that doesn't make sense. So when we have an interact book, as we call it, which is the term we use, our company name is Interact Books, and we're creating interact books. So an interactive book is an interactive book. Um, we call it an interact book. And what we try to do is to make sure that the, every interactive book, it, fit, it flows with the story. So it's not just a matter of having the ability to touch something or to tap it or double tap it or rotate it. I mean, that's fun, but it's not as much fun if it doesn't fit with the overall story. And after all, what we're focusing on is specifically books. This um, in- interaction with the text is a whole new art form, a yeah. whole new language that's going to be happening. And Absolutely. And if, if it's over the top or too obvious, it's not yeah. going to be any fun, right? Yeah, or if it doesn't fit, it's just or no if it fun. doesn't fit. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they might as well download a game, you know, if they, if they just want to play around with something. So, uh, so, yeah. so in future manuscript submissions, you would like the author to think of it in terms of submitting perhaps a, a, not just a manuscript text, but a multimedia script with Absolutely. some ideas and throwing things out. Either the illustrator or the or the author. I mean, we certainly will give our input, but uh, I think it's really in the hands of the creative minds, especially the creator of that book. So a, as, a, as an author of children's books, what you need to do is start thinking about that because this is a whole new medium that you're going to want to play in. You want to take your books and offer them in print. You want to maybe even create... Uh, a video game out of some of your characters, but you also want an interactive book. So as you're writing that book, you really want to focus and think about, okay, what would what would my interaction be on this page or on this page? And then you can write it out, and once you provide that to us, we can then take it and build the book for you. Or you can, of course, if, if your illustrator uh, wants to download our uh, Interact Builder software, won't be available until early next year, but in January, um, you'll be able to download that and actually create the books uh, yourself. So you don't even have to use us um, to, to build the books with.